Dear friends, I am very happy to meet you in the next video. The very interesting video on the gambler problem. There is a gambler who have 2 rupees in his hand. Now he is going to bet 1 rupee in the game. So he may lose or he may win. If he win, he will gain 1 more rupees. If he lose, he is going to lose the 1 rupee what he bet with the probability 1 by 2. The probability of winning or losing is 1 by 2, 50-50. The next condition given to us, when he will stop the game. There is two chances. The first chance is if he lose all the money, that means he will have 0 rupees, then he will stop the game because automatically when you don't have money, they will not allow you to play. Then the second option, suppose he is winning 4 rupees. The meaning of winning 4 rupees means already he have 2 rupees. So 2 plus 4, 6. Suppose he have 6 rupees in his packet, he will stop the game. The other way what they are saying, if he wins 4 rupees, he will stop the game. Or if he lose all the money, he will become pauper with 0 rupees, then he will stop the game. Now this is the condition given to us. Find the transition probability matrix, first of all for the Marco chain. The second question, what is the probability that he will lost the money at the end of 5 plays? Third question, find the probability that the game lost more than 7 plays. That means, what is the probability till the game will continue after 7 plays. So, let us see one by one. And this problem is going to be little challenging because you cannot use calculator. Why? Let us see. So, let us assume that Xn be the amount of player at the end of the nth round of play. So, now he will stop the game when he have 0 rupees. He will stop the game when he gain 4 rupees. Already he have 2 rupees with him. So, my Xn is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. These are all the states in my matrix. Okay, good. Now, that means I am going to construct a transition probability matrix with 7 rows and 7 columns. Now your calculator tricks will not work. You cannot use your calculator to find the solution. So let us see how to tackle this problem. So let us consider the matrix 7 cross 7. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we should be very careful. When this guy, this is going to be my present state. This is going to be my future. This is my present. When the guy has 0 money, he cannot play the next game. What is the probability of playing the next game? He can't able to do anything. So it is going to be 1 and the remaining all are 0. Now, when the guy has 1 rupee in his hand, he will bet. So, what will happen now? He will lose the money with probability 1 by 2 or he will gain the money with the probability 1 by 2. Similarly, if the guy has 2 rupees, then what will happen here? Either he will lose 1 rupee or if he win, he will gain 1 rupee. So, the matrix will be generated like this. Similarly, if the guy have 3 rupees in his hand, what will happen now? From 3 rupees, he may gain 1 rupee with a probability 1 by 2 or he may lose 1 rupee with a probability 1 by 2 and remaining elements are 0. Now, similarly, if you have 4 rupees, he may win 1 rupee or he may lose 1 rupee and remaining states are going to be 0. Similarly, for the 5th state, if you have 5 rupees, then he had a chance of winning 1 more rupees or he lose 1 rupee and all the remaining elements are 0. Now, as I said, if you have no money, you will come out of the game. If you have 6 rupees, that winning plus initial money 2, he will never play in the game. So, that means in the current state, if he has 6 rupees, he will not play the game. He will simply keep quiet for the next round. So, now this is going to be my transition probability matrix, guys. Now, this is not easy to do matrix multiplication. So, let us see what I am going to do. Next, we have to find small p0. So, it is going to be very easy. Why? Initially, the gambler has 2 rupees in his hand. That means 2. So, 0 rupee, no possibility. 1 rupees, no possibility. 2 rupees, 100% possibility. 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, now, when you write this, now when you write the states, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now this is going to be your initial matrix given to us. Now we have to see what happened, what is the probability after 
play 1 so do you remember pn is nothing but p n minus 1 into the transition probability matrix now we are going to multiply this p with p naught to find p1 now this is little tough so let us think how to tackle this so p1 after first play is going to be p naught into capital p you can simply write i will tell you the trick so now you see initially the guy has two rupees in hand with the probability one so when he bet he may lose one rupee or he may gain one rupee with the probability 50 50 that, that is losing one rupee is one by two gaining one by one rupees is also one by two now he cannot have two rupees zero four five six so this is going to be my p1 now when i want to find p2 i'm going to use the same trick so p2 is going to be p1 into p so i'm not going to multiply actually i'm going to write in a wiser way p2 now let us write the states now from second play suppose he had two possibilities he may have one rupees or he may have three rupees if he had one rupee with him he had a chance of losing this one rupee and it will become zero rupees or he had a chance to gain one more rupees so you will have two rupees in his hand now already the probability for having one rupees is one by two now this probability will split into one by four and one by four similarly for three rupees he had a chance of losing one rupee and becoming two or he had a chance of gaining one more rupee and it becomes four also the probability already for three is one by two. now it is going to be split into one by four one by four so three is going to be zero one is going to be zero because he will play the game he cannot have one rupees or he cannot have three rupees now losing is one by four i write winning 2 rupees here is also common 1 by 4 here is also common 1 by 4 so i'll be getting 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 do you understand it is going to be 1 by 2 now from 3 winning 1 more rupee and getting 4 rupees the probability is going to be 1 by 4 because here we have mentioned the remaining elements are 0 similarly now when i want to go for p3 just for formality you write the formula but just use your brain now similarly all the six states 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now when you have 0 rupees he cannot do anything this 1 by 4 remains the same now if you had 2 rupees he had a chance of losing 1 or gaining 1 now this 1 by 2 will split into 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 this will become 0 similarly when you have 4 rupees he had a chance of losing that 4 rupees and gaining the 4 rupees now 1 by 4 is split into 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 0 0 so this 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 i will write it as 2 by 8 that is going to be my 3 by 8 so i will change this as i will change this as 3 by 8 0 1 by 8 now what you have to do you have to solve the problem one by one p4 p5 p6 up to what they ask in the problem so i'm going to write in a legible way for your reference let us see one by one so as i said initial matrix is 0 0 1 so i'll write the states common here 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 these are all the states i'm going to start from zeroth play before he play he had two rupees once he play the first game just now i tell you how to calculate this so i'm going to just write the answer alone 0 1 by 2 0 1 by 2 0 0 now when you go for the second step this 1 by 2 will be splitted into now you understand 1 by 4 0 1 by 4 this 1 by 2 again splitted here so 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 it is going to be 1 by 2 now you understand what is happening here 1 by 2 this is going to be 1 by 4 and remaining elements are 0 similarly p3 here i cannot stop this 1 by 4 this is same now this 1 by 2 may be split into two chances 1 by 4 0 1 by 4 now again this 1 by 4 split into two chances 1 by 8 so 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 i am going to rewrite it as 3 by 8 and this value is 0 next one is 0 this is going to be my p3 so like that we have to write one by one because for our question 
we need up to p5 for the second problem now similarly this 1 by 4 i cannot do anything but this 1 by 4 will be splitted into two so 1 by 4 plus this is going to be 1 by 8 and 1 by 8 and this value the corresponding value is 0 i will write in a proper way so now this 1 by 4 and 1 by 8 contribution is 3 by 8 this element is 0 and here the contribution is 1 by 8 now this 3 by 8 will be contributed equally here in two places and this 1 by 8 is again equally contributed in two places plus so now this 1 by 4 will contributes 1 by 8 and this 3 by 8 is going to be contributing 3 by 16 so when you take lcm it is going to be 5 by 16 so here i have to write properly 5 by 16 okay good this is going to be 0 now this is going to be simply 3 by 16 and again 1 by 8 contribution is going to be 1 by 16 and 1 by 16 0 so if i rewrite this properly i can see the data very clear so this is going to be the corresponding value 0 and this value is going to be 1 by 16 plus 4 by 3 by 16 so 4 by 16 is 1 by 4 and this is 0 and 1 by 16 hope you understand how i am finding this so don't go for matrix multiplication it will be very tough now you see 3 by 8 contribution is same now this 5 by 16 will contribute twice it is going to be 5 by 32 0 5 by 32 here also now this 1 by 4 will contribute 1 by 8 and 1 by 8 now this 1 by 4 will become 0 here in the new state and finally this will remains the same what i will get when i simplify this i am going to get 9 by 32 so this is my p5 now my question is what is the probability that he will lose the money at the end of five places so at the fifth play the probability of losing money losing money is going to be 3 by 8 students that's it now finally we had one more problem what they are asking what is the probability that the game will continue the game will not lost after seven throws so now for this we have to find two more play so p6 p7 so i will write directly hope you understand how to calculate this so carefully watch this video and enjoy the problem so now you can see i have directly write the p6 and p7 calculation and what is the final question asked to us is what is the probability that the game will not last that means the game will continue after seven plays so he will stop the game the gambler will stop the game when he lose money the gambler will stop the game when he have won 4 rupees that is if you have total 6 rupees in his pocket so the probability of game lasting is not lasting after seven plays is nothing but i have to lose this probability i have to leave this probability and i have to write the sum and when you sum this using your calculator that will give you the probability that the game will not last just after seven plays so my final answer is 27 by 64 thank you for watching students such a interesting problem so there are some problems which is beyond our calculator tricks you have to use your brain as a calculator and solve the problem see you in the next video bye bye